summarize our trip in Sri Lanka. When we traveled there, we picked six different places to stay and we focused basically on the west and south coasts of Sri Lanka. Although it's not a huge country, it's big enough and in the course of the almost two weeks we were there, it was just too much to try to see everything in one trip. So we focused on those areas. We do love the beach and we saw plenty of awesome beaches. Let's start with Hikadua. Hikadua was our first stop. Um, we flew into Colombo and we took a car down to Hikadua. We stayed at Coral Sand Hotel. The beachfront. Can hear the wave here. Have two poles here. Oh, there's one more there. All right, it's still really sunny. Okay, this is a room. Bed, TV on the wall, a fan, some kind of closet, and this is the view. It's awesome. It's right on the National Park area of the protected reef. So what was your first impression when you saw the beach? The beach was okay. So we walk along the beach. The beach was nice, but the purpose of going to Hikadua because we did some research where can we snorkel off the beach. Right, that was definitely our purpose for going there. And when we saw the beach, we were just like, how, how can you snorkel here? Yeah. There was boats everywhere and we didn't, we didn't really see any reef. And it, there was just like a whole bunch of local people just flopping around in the shallow water. There was really nobody out snorkeling or diving or doing anything. So we were like, okay, I think we're in the wrong place. But <laughs> sometimes first impressions can be deceiving. So what happened when we got in the water? We said, let's try it, right? Yeah, let's try it. When we start snorkeling, we saw fish everywhere. Even though there are a lot of people there, yeah, right, right as soon as you get in the water, there's a ton of fish to greet you, which is always a good sign. And we said, all right, let's swim out a little bit and see what's there. there was all kinds of fish and like really big groups of fish and they would sort of scatter as fish do and then if you just sort of stayed in one place they would like regather around you so you were like in a tornado of fish <laughs> and it was a super awesome you would you would never guess looking at this beach that this kind of snorkeling existed there it just did not look like any of the snorkeling beach we've ever seen but there was a superstar to that beach which we We'll never forget. So, who is that? This Mr. Turtle. As we were swimming, um, we saw a group of uh, scuba trainees in the water. I saw them and I was sort of fascinated because I had never seen a, a, a group scuba training course. They were just getting to the point where they were submerging and, you know, working on their regulator and breathing. And it was like really like the first hour of the class. And as I'm watching this, I see something that was like surreal. I see this gi really giant turtle, really huge one. And he kept swimming 
underneath them and banging the people's legs as they were trying to pay attention to the instructor, causing each one to like jump, startled because he was out of their view. And I was like, are you kidding me? This turtle is effing with these people. It, is, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. And then I realized that the turtle was like doing it over and over and over and over again. So I said, all right, this turtle is like totally interacting with people. I got to go check him out. So I like swam towards him and he just came like right to us. And this was the start of building a relationship with this turtle for three days. Like every time we got in the water, he came right to us and he was just huge and so friendly and he just wanted to hang around with you. If you ignored him, like, oh look, there's an eel. Let's go see that. He would just follow you and he would do the same thing, banging into your legs, like full force. <laughs> this turtle was huge. If you were trying to like put your feet down just to like be upright in the water, he would just like spin you upside down because he'd be so big. <laughs> it was really, it was an unbelievable experience. I mean, it's something you really had to live through to appreciate. He was uh, chasing them away and even biting at them like there was quite a few other turtles in the area but he was the king of this beach and if they came too close to the people especially he just chased them away it was really I've never seen anything like it I've seen plenty of friendly sea life but this guy was like he was like a pet <laughs> like really he just his whole thing was about hanging out with the people and there was plenty for him to eat there was you know seagrass and seaweed the kind of stuff they like and he can just get it you know, no one had to get it for him, but he wanted to be around the people. He wanted to have the attention. It's really amazing, really amazing experience. What do you think about Carl Sam Hotel? All right, the hotel we stayed at was, uh, it was very dated. The, the decor was old. It was obviously, you know, colonial inspired. Uh, it might have been built during the colonial, colonial era, I don't know. But it had a charm that was undeniable. It had uh, two swimming pools, uh, they were okay, but it had the great location right in front of this National Park reef area. So literally you walked out of the front gate and you were right there. You didn't have to go anywhere. And you had that amazing snorkeling when you were done, you came in, your room was right there. It's um, awesome. Yeah, the, the things I would say uh, for Coral Sands is the, the food service was amazing. The people that worked there were extremely friendly, um, they were very engaging. They were uh, casual yet professional, and I think the food was super delicious. It was our first experience with Sri Lankan food, and right away it was like, okay, this is going to be a love affair because this food was so good, really delicious. Breakfast, dinner, everything was great. And uh, despite the fact the hotel is dated and needed like a renovation, you could feel its history, and they they were very proud of it. They had uh, groups that stayed there that went back like 
really, really long time. You know, like they had a whole area where there was pictures taken every year of the same group. And there was something really charming about it. So Carl Sands, I give like two enthusiastic thumbs up. It was just awesome.